Hello all, Sabello here. This is Plunder Pirates um, Beginner's Tips Part 3 for Pirate All 1s to 3. Okay, so as I said in the previous two videos, um, all these information or tips may not be useful to you, but some may, so stay tuned and listen to all tips just in case you miss something. Okay, so number one is how to request troops. Now there is two ways of requesting troops. First is tap on your guild ship and we hit the request button then we hit enter and you can type in your own personalized message if you desire and the second one is on the top here there is a blue double sword with like a little skull icon thing and push a plus there and we've crashed troops through that way hope that helps uh, how to donate troops well it's quite simple you open up chat there'll be a, a little sword looking thing like that icon at the top there you tap on that and put the troops in and the way you go and it'll ask you if you actually want to refill the troops that you just donated and it's got the cost of rock there you will know what I mean when you do it no one's done one <laughs> but um, it's easy to figure out you don't need to show you that uh, earn EP and BP uh, and the methods uh, had to earn them one is errant uh, EP and BP uh, well, EP you can get through sailing your ship, naturally, when you've reached a destination, you get a certain amount of EP for it, depending on what um, uh, colour of the ocean you've been going through, depends on the amount of EP that you get. BP you can get through uh, chest, uh, you can also get from battling particular monsters, um, whether you can actually get that, because it's a, a potential to get BP, not an actual. Um, but yeah, opening chest is probably your best bet, or probably bigger fish, but it's not a, a definite thing for BP, but also BP is for winning battles, almost forgot that one there. So um, you'll see at the, the start of the battle it offer a certain amount of BP, obviously if there's 12 for instance, uh, the one star will be 4 BP you'll earn, 2 stars 8, and then uh, all 3 stars is 12 BP. Hope that one helped you there as well. Uh, watch videos, X counts with it. So you see this question mark, that's how you watch videos, if we was to hit the X, like so, it disappears. We've lost it for uh, until another one pops up. Watch the tick. Sit there, watch the video. You also get uh, BP, not EP, from watching the videos as well. You can get um, you can get gems as well. You get grog, gold. You name it, you can get it from watching videos. So as soon as you see one of the question marks pop up, do not accidentally push the X icon down there to show you. Please watch the video so you can get some cool rewards. Um, okay, sailing different shades of blue. Yeah, I sort of went into that, but we'll go into it again briefly. Okay, so when there's loads, I'll be able to show you the different shades of blue. Okay, so you see really light blue around where you start. It's a slightly darker blue, slightly darker blue, slightly darker blue. And, and as you can see the pattern, then it gets to a deep blue. So the deeper you go into these different shades of blue, uh, one affects the range of your ship. Uh, takes more of the range off per tile that you're sailing, won't go into too much about that but yeah, th they're all different ranges, uh, the deep blue stuff takes the longest so if you're going to do an exploration event make sure you're going into the deepest blue parts and battle in a 4 or 5 star monster if your troops are able to do it we jumped a little bit ahead of ourselves, <laughs> we always do um, the, the next one's PR drop uses and no troops yeah, so if I want to lose, sorry, use uh, battle um, yeah, if I'm not battle points, if I want to drop uh, pirate rank, which is like trophies, we go into thunder, we go into the attack. And now, oh, wow, it's rude for me not to pass up these resources, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's let's do a raid, and no, no, it's, let's not. Damn it! Okay, uh, let's push next, just because I don't want to battle that. I don't <laughs> let someone else take that uh, one on. So okay, now we hit fights without deploying any troops, you don't need to deploy your legendary pirate neither, you hit the surrender flag push the OK button and there is our defeat we've obviously gone down, we lost 18 pirate rank there push OK and that is how you drop down to pirate rank 1 now I don't want to go into this other part, we're going to leave that uh, for pirate hall 4 plus ok so we come out and there we see 188 pirate rank so that's how we drop pirate rank without using troops Good method, of course. Uh, rocky outcrops. Uh, I know I'm sort of flitting backwards and forwards here, and this probably should have been done on video one. Uh, I don't have any. We'll see if uh, I know my lower account does. So yeah, let's go on to that. Uh, we're gonna go down to Spetto. Oh, if 
find it here in a second now. Come on, Captain Sabato, there we are, is my little account. Go on to this. Visit the base. Uh, and these rocky outcrop things here. They cost um, gold or grog, depending on what one you're removing. But anyway, you will not get no reward for removing them, but you will get them cleared off your base and not in the way. Yeah, unlike Clash of Clans, you'll get gems from them. These rocky, I don't care where the source is, I've heard that you can get gems between myself, this is my second playthrough. Uh, through relatives I know, through other gamers that I spoke to playing Plunder the Pirates, there is no uh, method for you to get gems via the rocky outcrops. Trust me on this. Okay, Pirate Hall uh, gives shield when sniped. As you just saw, damn it, as you just saw there on uh, uh, the, my base, my little base, the Pirate Hall was exposed. Like Clash of Clans used to have a sniping ability and it gives you a free shield. Well, this hasn't caught up with the times of Clash of Clans, and I'm glad for that, um, where you leave your town hall exposed, in this case it's a pirate hall, and you get a free shield. Please do that in this game because you'll get bigger players like myself and even bigger players sniping your pirate hall for streaks, but that is not, we're not going to go into bad streaks in this video. Uh, some de uh, decorations cost gems. Uh, that is good, I'm glad we mentioned that one, because uh, I've accidentally done it myself. And it is right in a nasty place. It's the top left and the bottom left. It's the colourful flower box. Five gems per one. I've accidentally bought two without knowing. And they're five gems. So if you're saving up for a third builder, that's really going to cripple you. Uh, the top left is your flagpole. Worry about all that pretty stuff for spending gems or flagpoles and colourful flower boxes when you have your fourth builder. And that's another thing. Quickly, I'll mention at the end there, there is only a maximum of four builders in this game. So make sure you get those four builds as quickly as possible. So I hope you found these tips useful. Thanks for watching these three tips for beginners. Good luck and bye for now.